all right guys welcome back so today i got this uh 50 inch it's a 50 inch toshiba the model number on this is a 50l711 u18 and it's about five years old and let me just show you what's happening is that we're plugging in it's automatically power on okay and picture comes up for a minute and then see what else we got is it going to come back on then the, actual, the picture should actually cut off so what happens with this TV is the picture will intermitt intermittently leave okay just like that okay there it goes okay and I don't have any picture on the screen now. The backlight leaves. Oh, there we go, right there. Can you see that? All right. So in the case that we do have some type of backlight problem, I've worked on plenty of these TVs before. And like I said, sometimes it will stay on, you know, five, 10 minutes. And sometimes it will come on with the Toshiba logo and it'll cut right off and sometimes it'll just flash real quick all right and then that's it and as I'm looking at this TV there's a question I've been asking myself for a long time is why do people leave these energy guy stickers on their TV I don't know how many TVs I've had or been to their house and they still have that energy guy sticker on the TV. I don't know why the manufacturer even put that thing on the TV anyway. And they always have this plastic stuff they use for shipping. Okay. It's still on here. I mean, what's the purpose? So it looks new all the time. So somebody come over to your house and be like, oh man, you had that TV for five years and it still look brand new. You know what I'm saying? Or what do people just leave it on there to say, and wake up in the morning and say, man, that's right. I'm only paying twenty five dollars a year for this TV. <laughs> I don't know what what it is. That's, that's kind of crazy. Though. Shy Town's finest. All right, to verify the model number. That's a fifty L seven eleven U one eight. Okay, and this man's TV was manufactured in July of 2017, so almost approximately five, approximately five years old. Obviously, we have to take off the feet first, left or right. Uh, these only go on one way, so this is for the right or left, or this is for the other side, because the front part of this leg or foot is longer than the back part. Okay, remember that, okay, so the TV won't fall forward. All right, so we got one here, got one here, and, I don't, and there's one here. And obviously, there's screws inside of here, in here in the middle, and all around the chassis. Okay, and obviously there's one here by the power cord connector. It's a screw in there, all right? And this TV only has one button on it, and it says input. It's not a power button. I don't think, oh, it did, okay, it does slash power slash input, okay, so, all right, so there's one button, so you're going to obviously have to use a remote with this TV. Okay, when you're taking the screws off, obviously you got three different sizes. 
obviously the longer screws go on the very bottom of the TV. One, two, three, three of those. And these smaller ones get one, two, three, four here, and then two more here around where the jacks or plugs are at, okay? And this should come right off. And we do have connection for the these speakers. Yeah, the speakers are built onto the back cover. So when you lift it up, just lift it up slightly, don't yank it up, and release that plug right here. Okay, right there. Okay, plugs in here. All right, and voila. Excellent. All right, so let me check my LED plug strips. And as you can see, there's only one line right here. Okay. Red and black, positive, negative. And I've worked on plenty of these TVs before. I might have another video on this particular TV or a similar model. But what happens is I'm going to check the LED strips. They should light up. Okay, I'm going to put a red on red. All right. Red and red and black on the black wire. Okay, now look at it. Okay, of course, lighting up, going to 103 volts. So, you see that? You see how it's fluctuating, okay? That is our problem. We have a leaky LED, and that is what's shutting the TV down, all right? Uh, one LED or one of the strips, most likely, okay? So, we don't need to go any further than that, but, to break the TV down to the LED strips and find out which strip is bad or how we're gonna do this, right? All right, so first thing we're gonna do is quite naturally, we're gonna to have to take our outer bezel off, okay? All right, so I think these may have to come off right here. I'm not sure just yet, but what I do know is first of all, I'm going to Disconnect this plug here. These plugs is go that are going to our panel from our TCOM board, all right? Left and right side of our panel. I'm gonna unplug these. Okay, so I won't forget. Okay, being very careful not to damage the connectors on the bottom. Okay. that in a place for now okay and the reason we do that is because um, we don't want any voltage well first of all because these connectors are going to be attached to our driver board which I could connect it to the LCD panel all right and so it looks like that we have I don't know where this is going right here okay let's see we'll have to disconnect this here but anyway <clears throat> There are some screws, there's one on the bottom, I see. Right here. Okay, it looks like I might have to take these two end pieces off. Right here. Okay, there's one on this side, okay. And there's one on the other side. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just mark those. So I won't forget to put these back on because I obviously see that there is the, looks like the, the IR detector is right there, okay. Well, this wire is going to, okay. So let's pull these off. They slide right out. Okay. And this obviously comes right out. Good, okay. I'm gonna leave that right there for right now. And I'm gonna leave these on here for right now, this particular moment, uh, because I got this Wi-Fi module right here. 
and I don't want to lay it right on the Wi-Fi module. This, these are gonna give it a little bit of support. So we got a Wi-Fi module, Chicon board, power supply board, and our main board, okay? Over here, right? And on the side, I do see some screws, right? Here, 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 here. All the way around, most likely, and I said there is one at the very bottom. So what I'm gonna do is flip this TV around on its back, okay, being very careful, and pull all of these screws out, including the silver one at the bottom right here, at the bottom, very bottom, and see if we can lift this bezel straight up. All right, and if we can, we are good, okay? So, man, film check this one up on the bottom first, and those look like number one Phillips, those, yeah, those are number one Phillips. Phillips head, a little bit smaller one, a little smaller than number two one. Okay, I'm gonna keep all these separated. I'm gonna pull this over. And there are also some at the top. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are a lot of those grooves. So just start taking them all off. Okay, once you do that, just go around with your flashlight and double, <coughs> double check to make sure that you did not forget any screws because they are black, just like the bezel, and it could be real easy for you to skip one or miss one, like I just did. Okay, looks like it's coming out pretty easily so far. Okay. Okay, we just got that bottom piece. <laughs> like this bottom part is a little tricky so I think just push pull that down that comes up and then pull that down it's got broken but this one is loose just wiggle it around Being careful because you do not want to crack the screen. There we go. And we got some tape, quite obviously, right there. And voila. Some tape right here on this side, as you can see, right there. Round the tape off of our driver boards. Okay, got a piece here, a piece on the end. Okay, and another piece down here on this end. OK, 
careful not to yank it. All right. Well, I'm pretty much careful not to yank this board right here. Okay. And then we got some clips right here. So we got three clips. We're just going to bring that up over the, these clips. I should do the other way. Maybe, maybe. Let me see. Let's try this way first. There we go. And voila. Okay. Being careful with these tabs. See, these are ICs in here. And these are the traces on the side. So be careful not to nick those or crunch those at all. Same flavor on this side. Okay, look at these very carefully before you do this. Okay, the screen goes inside these two notches on the bottom. All right, and at the top part, these two notches here and here on the side. You don't want the screen sticking up before you put that bezel on there, right? Because you will definitely crack the screen. And let's uh, see how easy the screen should not be glued. Oh, hold on, let's make sure. We do have some tape down here, looks like. Yep, sure do. People have been asking me where to put the suction cups on the screen. Just make sure, just look at the screen, cut it in half with your eyes, left side, right side, okay, usually right in between these driver boards right here, and then put it in the middle of each half, all right, approximately, okay, there and there. That is it. Okay, so we got the most critical part out of the TV. All right, now, looks like we have some brackets holding on the diffuser screen, as always. And one on each side, one, two, three, four. And it looks as if, if we look at the actual tab of the bracket, the side pieces, are, the side piece, the side brackets are overlapping the top and bottom, okay? As you can see right here. So obviously the side pieces come out first and I'm just gonna mark this, okay, bottom corner so I actually know that that this goes in the bottom right hand corner, right? Where the driver boards go, that's the bottom. Okay, this looks pretty simple. Just got some clips. Right here. So just use your fingernails or a pry tool. Clip it up. Clip it up. Clip it up. Clip it up. That's it. Top piece. Is 
same flavor. And just look at it while you're doing this, so you know how it goes. Okay. Now this bottom piece, I believe, has some screws on each side. And there's one on this side, okay? There we go. So obviously the thick piece goes on the bottom because that's where our driver boards lay on top of. Okay. Now, diffuser screens. Please, if you don't listen to anything else, listen to this. Keep these together. If you have to, put a piece of tape in case they fall or anything gets split up. Keep these together. I'm gonna put a piece of tape right here on the side. See, actually you got one screen, okay? You got another screen. It might be two right here. And then you have the stick screen, okay? Because if you put them on backwards and they're facing the wrong way, see how one side is smooth and this side is kind of rough. This one here is smooth on one side and this side actually looks like two screens right here. And we have a third one. Okay, and I don't think the, the bottom one actually matters because it's the thicker one. Okay, but I'm going to just tape with a one piece of tape. I'm going to put this just in case you sit them like straight up against the wall and they start sliding down. They're real slippery and you forget. And I'm also going to do is mark this corner right here. Okay, so I know it goes on that way. And I'm also going to mark the metal part on the chassis, right? Eliminates all difficulty, right? <laughs> and just take these, pu pu pull these up. Okay, there's some grooves in the top part, as you can see. The grooves, okay, the grooves on the side right here all the way around, so that's pretty, fairly easy, right? Just pull these up, keep them together, and I'm gonna lay them up against my screen, okay, by these stand-ups right here, okay? And those probably just squeeze off from the other side, so let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and mark the paper, also, same side, right, blue. Same side, I got the chassis marked, and that's also where that particular corner of that screen goes. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's see. And don't forget to put those stand-ups back on because you need an even amount of spacing between the screens and these LED lights. Otherwise, you actually see the circle, the circle of the lights in the picture, okay? See, it fell right through. Both of those. Where's the other one? Right there. Okay. So, in order for you not to forget, just put these in front of your diffuser screen so you won't put the diffuser screens back on the brackets and forget to put these back on because even I still do that. So, good idea to set these right in front or on top. If you have the diffuser screen laying down on top of the screen, to put these, so to remind yourself to put these on first, okay? Oh, on this side. Oh, okay, got to push that one out. Okay, one, two, three. Another one here. This one right here. Oh, I'm sorry, that two right here. 
So this is plugged in. It's on, okay. And I do have a light flashing on here. Okay, a red light flash when I plug it in, which means it's coming on, right? Okay, I don't know what's going on. It should have at least flashed or something, right? Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that for right now. What I'm gonna worry about is pulling the paper off. Not tear of the paper. Okay, I'm going to plug this here. Okay. I'm going to check these strips again and find out which one of these is fluctuating, right? I got one, two, three, four strips. That's it. Test points are right here, plus minus, right there on the strips. plus, minus, they are marked, okay? Let's see what we get. Let's find out which one of these strips is giving us a problem. Okay, so let's find out which one of these is the leaky one. So you see we have 336 now, right? Okay, negative, red, black on negative, red on positive. That 24.8 looks like okay, it's not fluctuating. All right, let's go to this next one. Black on negative, red on positive. 24.8. Okay. Now this next one. That one is not even lighting up. Okay. So maybe it finally went dead, huh? And this one is 24.8. So obviously, let's double check. Yeah, this one is not lighting up. Now let me just go to a good one because these have individual test points on them. So is this negative, positive, how's this working out here? Positive, positive. Okay, I can check in each individual one. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Okay, that one's good. Okay. That one's good. That one's good 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 all these are good okay that one's good that one's good they're all lighting up it's the same one let's see That's weird, bro. I wonder why when I put it, all these are good, right? 
all the way to the end. And I do see one that looks blue, bluish looking. Let me see here, this is weird. Let's try this one over here. All right, anyway, I think I have all the strips, so let's just go ahead and replace them all. We have nothing. All right, so maybe because of me moving it, that one strip. Yeah, something's wrong here. Okay. All right. So... I do have strips, new strips. There are actually two sets. Uh, the strips has two sides, a short side and long side. And as you can see, right here, that's where it's splitting off at. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace that one strip just to see Side, short side, right? Goes right in here. Pull this off. Plug it. Line these up. Plug this one in. Okay. Line these up with the holes and the chassis. They line up perfectly. And we got action. Looks like 25 even. All right, it's 25. Okay. Twenty-five even. Now that one is fluctuating a little bit. And okay, let's see. That one is not fluctuating. This one is actually fluctuating some. All right. Or was it? I don't know. I'm going to end up replacing all these strips anyway. Twenty-four point eight. And this one was what twenty-five. 25. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see if this is going to come on and stay on. Put a power supply back in. Okay. And let's see what we got. It's a 
light right here should start flashing so as we plug it in there we go excellent and I can see <clears throat> that some of these are blue until you tap on it and then it turns back white okay so that's a, that's a sign for me to just replace all the strips in here because I definitely don't want this going out because it looks like some other ones might be on the verge of going out okay so just replace them all be done with it Okay, when you're doing this bottom piece, <clears throat> make sure that it is flush and even all the way down. Okay. It's kind of tricky, but you have to line it up with these grooves on top. Especially this middle one, you can barely see this middle, this middle groove right here. Just make sure it's over there and then it's over it and then push it down and push it in and make sure it's flush all the way down and everything is snapped in right and before we do anything else let's put those screws back in on each side and we know it's secure flush screw hole is sticking out for the screw see that it's on the outside
Okay, guys. Let's turn it on. All right, guys. There we go. We are done. Another one saved from the alley, right? Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me, crying, big dog, we tired of LED videos. Just do some other stuff, Capone Level Repair. Look, look on my channel. I got a bunch of stuff on Capone Level Repair, okay? Here's a few of them right here, especially power supply boards, all right? Uh, but unfortunately, in this business, these are 80% of your television problems are going to be LEDs, all right? So if you want to get into working on TVs, now is the best time. Trust me. If you can watch my videos and learn something, yeah, LEDs, 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 LEDs. That's all I get. All I get. Those TVs over there. I got some more TVs over here. All of them LEDs, okay? That's the only ones that I bring in the shop. So what I'm actually going to start doing, I'm actually going to start filming... Because anything they use, like a board swap or a component swap, I don't bring those in, okay? I, I fix those in the house. I either, you know, do a part order and come back or, or you know, or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to start doing some videos on me in the field. If you guys think you would like that, let me know in the description, okay? And most of those are going to be board swaps because um, by me doing this, you know, full time, you know what I'm saying, for a living, I have to be conservative in, you know, what I'm doing. Um, as far as, you know, going to customer's house and then spending, uh, I don't want to spend too much time in the house. Go there and make a, a diagnostic, a diagnostic, a decision, get the board, come back, put it in, and I'm done with it, okay? And if I have a TV in the shop just like it, that needs LEDs, right? <laughs> then I'll just put the board in there and try to do a component of repair on it. Other than that, guys, um, oh, one thing I forgot. I can't forget the old trusty energy guide right okay want to make sure that we put that back on there so a customer won't say hey man i forget how much i save every year with this tv because you took off the energy guide 25 dollars okay so all you're gonna pay on this tv a year is 25 dollars in electricity how's that let me go ahead and put that back on there all right so it can look brand new uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't think it's gonna stick back on there. All right, maybe I get some tape or something. I can put that back on there. And um, yeah, make sure I leave all this stuff on here, guys. If I see it, don't don't leave that stuff on the TV, man. That TV looks goofy, bro. Straight goofy. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure that you do subscribe, okay? Everybody's been telling me, oh, you help me with a TV. I love your video, but I don't see the public subscribe button next to your name. So make sure that you subscribe, guys. It don't cost you nothing. And if you want to leave um, appreciation, there is a thanks button up under the video. It says thanks. Go there, leave $2, $5, whatever you want to leave. And if you got a question, uh, it will let me know that you did uh, uh, show some thanks. All right, and I will definitely answer your question. So until then, guys, I will see you in the next one. Big dog, out.